So this is the use of the iPlate uh, 300S. We start off with a silk, 70 silk corneal traction suture to infraduct the eye. We're now going to open up the conjunctiva here um, and create a 180-degree 100, peritomy. A cautery is then carried out and then blunt dissection into the subtenons space uh, in the suprotemporal quadrant. Um, and then we uh, cauterize any uh, excess bleeding. And then we're going to use mitomycin here um, on a Wexel sponge uh, on the end of a spear. We leave that for three minutes at a dose of 0.4 to 0.5 milligrams per mil. We wash the area thoroughly and then dry it. We're now inserting a 5-0 proline suture into the lumen of the, the eye plate and then fold it and insert it into the subtenance pocket. Uh, and unroll it uh, so it sits uh, nicely against the uh, wall of the sclera. Uh, the next thing is to measure 10 millimeters back and we're going to secure the plate with some uh, 10 nylon sutures here um, through the eyelets um, on both sides so that we can secure the plate and prevent any uh, movement. Uh, we're now suturing the second um, eyelet and now both have been secured. Uh, we're now going to uh, just check that the plate is secure. We now trim the uh, the tube to the appropriate length with a bevel up. And the next thing we're going to do here, as we do not have uh, access to any uh, Tudor plaster or sclera, we're going to create a flap out of the native sclera of the patient. And we fashion a 5 by 5 millimeter um, flap here uh, using a 15 degree blade. And then once uh, we've scored the flap, we uh, dissect a half thickness uh, scleral flap. Um, and this is using a crescent blade now so that we can keep the, the thickness um, accurate. We're measuring two millimeters back and we're going under the flap here, two millimeters back. And at the point at which we hit the scleral spur, which is much more visible under the flap, we um, change the angle of the needle uh, to parallel with the iris. Um, as we come out, we lose a little bit of uh, pressure within the eye, so we make a paracentesis and firm up the eye. And then the tube passes relatively easily um, through the 25 gauge needle track that we've created. Uh, we then check the tube and it looks uh, in a very satisfactory position. We then uh, suture down this uh, autologous flap that we've created from the patient's native sclera. Uh, to ensure that the uh, tube is uh, secured under this. Um, and this requires around two sutures either side of the tube and then two either side on the uh, flap. We're now doing the most important thing here is which is checking the flow and we have some flow here and this is what we're aiming for. Um, because we're basically allowing this to work like a pool tube where we have early flow to control pressure. And now we just uh, secure the uh, conjunctiva with some vicral sutures and uh, that completes uh, the case. And the patient had a very good outcome at uh, two months so far with a pressure of 10 millimeters of mercury. And the pressure has been stable since the, the procedure.